Assalamu alaikum, this is uh, Anne Hassan and today I would like to talk about the history of Pakistani English literature, the historical accounts of Pakistani English literature. If we see, so we get through reading, through reading different uh, literary pieces and uh, they about different writers' works and themes of their writings. Uh, throughout the history of Pakistani English literature, the very less response is given to the uh, to the history than than there is in Indian literature. So, like in Indian literature, we see that there are references and uh, those references which can be found towards Gandhi and uh, their uh, leaders. So, but in Pakistani literature, a very little response is shown to political events, and uh, that is the re reason which uh, differs it from African and West Indian literatures. So, the politi political events of partition, which are referred only in the three works, and um, the three works are uh, which are written by Mumtaz Shahnawaz and her work, The Heart Divided, which she had written in 1957. And uh, the other one is uh, Meher Nigar Masroor's uh, work, Shadows of Time, which she has uh, written in 1987. And the other one is uh, by, um, by Bepsi Sidwa, Ice Candy Man, which she had written in 1988. So there are Hindu Muslim rights which has affected the lives of ordinary people and the novel of Sidwa is only major response to these rights her cracking India which uh, in which she has uh, a great response to these rights in Pakistani literature in English so there is nothing which deals with the philosophy of partition in a series way we accept Meher Nigar Masroo's Shadows of Time, the other novel by Kuratulain Haider's Aak Kadaria, 1958, uh, which she had written that novel and uh, that novel then translated by her in 1998 to English language. So this novel sets out the question, uh, sets out the question of partition the novel of Aak Kadaria, uh, which is written by Kuratulain in 1958. So, the, the other event in Pakistani English literature history is Ayub Khan's martial law, when he um, imposed martial law in 1958, and uh, this is a great event in Pakistani uh, English literature history. And um, he imposed uh, as martial law, so the flattering description of uh, some efficient army officers, officers in the novel Snakes and Ladders, which is written by Nasir Ahmad Farooqi in 1968. So we can see. Uh, the description of army officers in that work. And the other uh, event in the, uh, yeah, event in Pakistani English literature history, uh, we see the uh, defeat of Ayub Khan uh, by Fatma Jina in election. In 1964, when Fatma Jina defeated Ayub Khan, his son sent army to kill people in Karachi and set houses on fire. In a poem about that incident written by famous Urdu poet Faiz Ahmad Faiz and he had uh, given the description of those houses which were uh, burned by the Ayub Khan's sons who sent army to kill people in Karachi. So it was a great incident. It was a great event in Pakistani English literature, English literature and with its description is given by Faiz Ahmad Faiz in his Urdu poetry. The third one event we can say that in 1950, uh, 50, 1965 war, 
and this war was between India and Pakistan and is referred to short stories and plays. The most famous play which is recently written by Asghar Nadim Syed and uh, it's in the Mag- and uh, the play was and the play name was Maqbul Hussain and which is also released in 2008 so sheikh ayaz a famous sindhi poet is sympathetic toward both the people of india and pakistan during the war in his poetry and he is the upholder of humanity rather than nationalists so another uh, event and the most uh, a uh, tragic event was 1971 war and this was also a great incident in pakistani english history in uh, literature history which is described by the pakistani writers uh, through their pens and in the book witness to surrender in 1977 which provides balanced accounts of war which was first written in urdu and then translated by the author himself so the experience of pakistani pioneers was also recorded by the same author in his book uh, the wounded pride in 1948 uh, 84 sorry okay so um, we see in the uh, the martial law of general dialu haq in the incidents which uh, came there in pakistani english literature history and this was the martial law of general dialu haq which was resented um, in poems and in short stories of symbolic of a symbolic kind So in Punjabi uh, literature Fakhar Zaman wrote a novel based on the last days of Bhutto in prison which was translated by Khalid Hassan as the title is Prisoner Prisoner and it was translated in 1984 So literature in um, provincial languages is politicized one of theme um, Uh, one of the themes in sindhi literature is nationalism and in english literature there is no evidence of nationalism so punjabi writers like zebun nisa hamidul hamidullah barki and ghos have written about their own villages aisha malik about the frontier province she has uh, written her works hamidullah's focus was on the conflict and conflict between tradition and modernity goes the murder of aziz khan is about the rise of the industrialist in some areas of the punjab ahmed ali's twilight in delhi in 1940 which it themes is uh, culture identity in nostalgia it was of the partition time the major themes of the nationalistic poetry of pre-partition days was romantic ideal idealization of the past like the theme of alama iqbal poetry so the main theme in pakistani literature we see is a theme of immigration psychological conflicts in internal and moral conflicts so this painful experience finds its depiction in the works of nadim aslam mohsin hamid Kamal Shamsi and their works depicts these all these uh, painful experiences of our uh, society like psychological conflicts immigration at that time so uh, they discuss the confusion between nativity and alienation the other a uh, work of Tofik Rafat and uh, works of Tofik Rafat and um, Dawood Kamal which discusses about the law of nation and land so in short we can say that pakistani english literature um, if we compared it to other literatures like african and indian literature so one can get that because of some causes because of some reasons it uh, is not that much raised 
and those reasons were like the encourage in no in like there was uh, no encouragement in writers and uh, the major writers who were living in other countries and uh, the reason was that, that it was not the part of academic study. Pakistani literature was not the part of, acad of academic uh, study, so uh, it couldn't raise, uh, raise. And the fourth one reason is political environment was like uh, that many writers couldn't write freely. They were bound in their writing. So, we can study uh, about the history, uh, further readings we can choose here from a book which is written by Tariq Rahman, uh, who was uh, most prominent scholars, um, writers, and uh, columnist. He has written about the history of Pakistani English literature, and he has written a book about the whole history. So, in short, I gave a history and uh, through in summary form, and I hope that you will uh, get um, through that lecture about the history of Pakistani English literature. So, thank you so much. Thanks a lot for what um, for uh, listening me, and I will then upload other uh, related literature, uh, other uh, lectures related to literature. So thank you. Thank you so much.